Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel and for this video I've come back up into Argyll I've actually come to the village of Arica which is just at the top of Loch Long uh, which is actually one of the, the tidal lochs, one of the sea lochs that you get in Argyll so it's uh, the, the level of the loch will change at different times of the day but I will show you that when I get out of the car but when I'm actually going to be going is into the Argyll forest which is actually just in the hills and the mountains behind me. I think this is the bit where you can actually walk up to uh, Ben Arthur, which I think is, which is more commonly known as the Cobbler. And it's actually a really popular hill to climb. I don't think I'll be climbing it today, but I'll at least show you what at least part of this area is like. And uh, there is a car park, which is where I'll be leaving the car. It's a uh, pain display, I think it's from 9 till 6, and it's a pound an hour. So I put in for th I put in for three hours, which will take me past 6 o'clock, which will be fine. And yeah, so it's absolutely biling today, as we see here in Scotland. So it's really warm, really sunny. Uh, it's a lot warmer than what we're used to. Uh, but again, it's a good excuse, great day to get out, enjoy the good weather while it lasts. Uh, so I will be grab a bag in a moment and heading on out. Before I do that, if you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy my videos, if you can click on the, on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page and the channel's TikTok account in the description bar below and in a pinned comment in the comment section. So with that out of the road, I'm gonna grab a bag and head on out. So this is Loch Long. Uh, that building over there, uh, that's the Arakar Hotel. That's Arakar over there on our side. I mean, the loch's like a mill pond today. It's not always this still. A sea loch, essentially, a bit like a fjord. Maybe not as dramatic, but similar idea. Yeah, so you, you do have to cross this main road. And this is uh, what, the main road further into Argyll. In that direction, you've got the rest and be thankful. So, you do have to be very careful when crossing this road because it does see hell of a lot of traffic. But that's where I'm heading. And the Gale Forest Park. So, this is uh, the route you would take, or probably one of the routes you would take if you are going to go up the Cobbler. Again, I don't think I'll actually get up to the top of the cobbler but at least go for a wander around here. Can always come back and try and uh, climb the cobbler another time. It's a really popular hill for folk to go up. And apparently the reason why it's called the cobbler is because uh, the shape of it, the, the summit of it, apparently looks like a cobbler working. Never be able to see it myself. Yeah, the cobbler or Ben Arthur is actually one of the mountains that you pass when you're going over the rest or when you're going up towards the rest and be thankful when you're heading up from Loch Lomond. That's all you do. Uh, if you're coming in the opposite direction, you're, pa you're, you're passing the way back down. And I have to admit is that even though I have driven that road so many times, going further into Argyll, I've never actually come into this uh, bit of the forest. And yeah, especially with the weather being so nice, and I think it's supposed to change at the weekend. Better make use of it while it's that's nice.
Yeah, the skip caps had to come out. Trying to keep the sun off my face a wee bit. And I've already seen quite a few people out on the trail already. And I would recommend that, yeah, you bring sensible shoes. You bring some walking poles. Wear sensible clothing. And expect it to be steep in places. Because I will turn the camera around in a second. And I'll just show you a wee bit of the path. Because uh, it is, it is not technically difficult, but it is steep in places. So just, yeah, bear that in mind if you're coming up. Yeah, I don't know if you can quite make this out in the, the video, but there is a bit of a, an ascent as you're going up. So I think that's part of the reason why I would definitely recommend bringing walking poles. Just gives you that wee bit of extra balance and just helps you get up the hill. Yeah, walking poles are your friends. Yeah, it is lovely having this sunny weather. It's lovely having um, higher temperatures than what we're used to. And probably, I know that people have, there have been people laughing that we are struggling with temperatures as they are. But we're not used to this. And it's just that really muggy way as well, and you can probably see my face, even just climbing that short distance uphill even though it is only about 26 degrees, it's really taken it out of me. And um, it's just that really warm, muggy weight, just, just, yeah. But again, we complain when it's raining. We complain when it's, when it's blowing a hoolie. So yeah, we just got to kind of make, make you see it and get out and enjoy what weather we can. So I'm going to try and see how further up I can get, see what else I can show you. Hopefully we'll be able to get some good views of them along the loch. That'd be nice. Yeah, thank all the gods. There's a bench. Can I just sit down for five minutes? Yeah, I'd have a, a bench to sit on. And that view to appreciate. I think it was worth the climb. Even though I'm... I really have to catch my breath now. But as you can see, yeah, there are times when in Scotland you do get clear blue skies with no cloud at all. Yeah, so this bit of the Argyle Forest Park is also on the Loch Lomond and Cowell Way, which is one of the long distance uh, routes through Scotland and one of the long distance walking routes. The Cowell is then where Dunan is. Essentially, walk all the way from that there up to Loch Lomond. I'm gonna head along this way, try and see what else I can find. Yeah, this looks like a, a forestry road. So, this would give uh, access to forestry, land, forestry and land Scotland which used to be Forestry Commission Scotland. So they will obviously have to come up here with their vehicles. That's the path there that takes you up towards the cobbler. And yeah, I would love to keep going up that way, but yeah, I think it is I've uh, spoken to some other people who have been out walking up here and they said that they've even found it too hot to go much further than this. But again, if you're coming up this way, just keep an eye out for the, the forestry work. Because again, Forestry and Land uh, Scotland do carry out work on this area here. But yeah, I think I'm going to head back. 
Yeah. Uh, I think quite a, quite a few people have been out, as I was saying just there. They've all been out and obviously enjoying the good weather and enjoying the sun as much as they can. But, yes, because it's uh, it is quite warm, it does make the climbing a lot difficult, a lot more difficult, I mean. So, I think, yeah, now that I know that I can head up to the cobbler from here, that I can leave the car in the car park down at the bottom and walk up, I can always... Uh, come back and climb the cobbler on a different day. Hopefully when it's uh, a wee bit cooler and try and see how far I'd get on that trip. But yeah, it's so like even from just uh, getting a chance to sit on the bench down, just at the, where the path kind of comes up onto the forestry track, you could do get a good view from there. So that's been, that's been a good walk, definitely give me some good exercise and definitely got me, got me my dose of uh, vitamin D. So I'll see you back down to the car. Well, that's me back down. And it's low tide at Loch Long. And if you, if you compare this with how the water was when I was first down here, right at the start of the video, you will see the water's gone right out. Well, that is me back down at the car park after having my little joint up uh, towards uh, Ben Arthur. Uh, towards the, the cobbler but I think uh, going towards the cobbler, the cobbler itself will be one for another day because again it is just time is marching on and it is very warm today so yeah probably come back when I've uh, got a full day to myself and maybe not have anything on the next day but it's been a good walk though and it is just nice to be able to get up into a gale even if it is only uh, not really that far from Glasgow, it's still kind of good to get up here and just be able to go for a wander as well. Because there's this, there's this one of the, of the bits of Scotland that I, I will always come back to. And, and I hopefully you will all have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you will all be intrigued by their Gale Forest Park. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.